Life Audio. Hello, thank you for listening to your daily Bible verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for us. I'm your host, Jessica Van Ruckel, and after this short word from our sponsor, we'll dive into today's Bible verse, Hebrews 12.1. Is life feeling chaotic? I get it. I'm Rachel Wojo, host of the Untangling Life podcast. Don't miss the passionate encouragement and faith-based resources you need to help you clear your head and calm your heart. As Shell says, it feels like Rachel always knows what I need to hear. She keeps it real and is so humble. Her podcast is just the cherry on top. Enjoy Untangling Life with Rachel Wojo on lifeaudio.com or your favorite podcast app now. Hi, this is Jay Seculo. You've spoken and we've heard you loud and clear. That's why this month we're doing something big. We're proud to announce our brand new ACLJ Life and Liberty Drive. Our legal teams will be focusing on the issues that you've told us matter the most to you, life and religious liberty. This month, we're redoubling our efforts to beat back the radical left's attacks on your constitutional religious freedoms and to defend the sanctity of human life. Life and liberty are the cornerstones of our great nation, but they're not guaranteed. When the values we hold dear are under attack from within, It's up to all of us to take a stand or risk losing them forever. This is not just a call to fund our legal battles. This is your moment to get in the fight. Every tax-deductible gift you give will be doubled, dollar for dollar, through the ACLJ Life and Liberty Drive and help us fight to literally save lives. Go to aclj.org right now and join us in the fight. Today's Bible verse is Hebrews 12, 1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. One of the most important items in my wardrobe used to be a can of static cling eliminator. When I dressed up, I wanted my skirt to flow freely so I could move without getting tangled in the fabric. My blouse needed to drape rather than stick to my back. Static cling was the biggest indicator if I would tolerate the dress clothes, so I would always keep a can of static cling eliminator nearby. Of course, our society has reached new levels of casual, and I don't wear dressy clothes except for special occasions. But when I do... I make sure to eliminate all evidence of static cling. Just as static cling can prevent us from moving freely, so can certain choices in our spiritual journey with Jesus Christ. The choices we make in our everyday moments are not always a choice between right and wrong, but between what will hinder or help us. It may be the things that are easily avoided, but we choose not to keep our distance from them. Or there may be things we admire, but we shouldn't. The writer of Hebrews speaks with clarity on how to run our race with endurance. Hebrews 12.1 opens with the important yet easily overlooked word of therefore. Whenever we see this word, we would do well to consider what comes before it. In this case, it is chapter 11. Hebrews 11 contains numerous examples of godly people who lived by faith. Some of them received the promise they believed in faith for in this life. Others received their promise in eternity. They are our role models for running our race with endurance. These examples of great faith suffered, yet knew the victory of finishing well In most journeys, we begin excited, positive. Our journey will be different and filled with only a few hard things, but mostly good. And then we hit a rough bit of road, the kind where our teeth jolt and our bones rattle. We keep thinking the road will smooth out in just a little bit, but it stretches out for as far as our eyes can see, and we begin to lose heart. 
Therefore, we remember those who have gone before us and who won the race because they finished with their faith vibrant and strong. We are surrounded by this cloud of witnesses, not watching us, but to be our examples of faith and endurance. Our race is our individual journeys woven together into a tapestry of beauty by God for His purposes and His glory. Our way of victory is pressing into the finish by enduring difficult circumstances. And to do this, we choose to lay aside every weight and sin, which are the things that prevent us from keeping our eyes on the prize, eternity with our God. The Israel nation often lost sight of their race. They looked back, longing for what was. They searched for satisfaction in their stomachs, and then they demanded that they look like their neighbors. They struggled with setting aside their hindrances of doubt, disbelief, and other choices which prevented them from strengthening their ability to endure. The next part of the verse let us throw off every weight and clinging sin, indicates two action steps. We can examine our lives to get rid of what keeps us from growing in the Lord, or, in other words, the choices we make out of habit, which keep us in a cycle of sinful behaviors. Then we look for the dead weights in our lives, which are not necessarily sinful, but are our preferences, which keep us from devoting more time and attention to God. Then, we turn our attention to running the race with endurance. The let us run reveals that we do not run alone, but God runs with us. He encourages us, shows us the way, and guides our steps over and around obstacles. The Greek word for race, agona, means conflict or struggle of many kinds, which gives an accurate picture. Of our lives. Our lives are a series of easy times and hard times, but through it all, God stays with us. To run this race with endurance means we have an active participation in our spiritual growth. It can be easy to lull ourselves into a state of passivity, but the Greek word for endurance speaks of action. It calls for effort and commitment. It spurs us onward with determination, unhurrying through the process of growth, yet undelaying in our obedience. The power of obedience is amazing. At times when sins have become habitual, it can feel like an impossible task. But with God, all things are possible. He can do a mighty work in our lives if we ask and then run our race by faith. Endurance begins and ends with obedience and love for God. When our love for Jesus becomes our primary motivation, our purpose in this life becomes our desire to be more like Him. And when we do, we can set aside those clinging sins of pride, vanity, worldliness, tempers, corrupt imaginations, heavy hearts, and unholy attachments. Today, let us run the race with endurance, throwing off the things that hinder us, and move steadily onward toward the finish line. Let's pray. Holy God, I thank you so much that you just don't set us on this journey and just say, I'll see you at the end of the line. But Lord, that you are with us. You are with us at every step. You are encouraging us to throw away the weights and the sins that cling to us and prevent us from moving with freedom in you. God, you came to set us free, not so that we could live our lives the way that we want to live, but so that we could run this race with endurance. So God, I ask that you would give us courage, Lord, that you would give us strength and that you would remind us that you are with us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Your Daily Bible Verse is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. 
If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Finding uplifting news in today's headlines is often like searching for a needle in a haystack. At the Story Behind podcast, we believe in the power of finding heartwarming tales and are happy to share empowering stories with you every week. Hear about how Steve Harvey surprised a dying man on Family Feud with $25,000. Get inspired by the note a waitress received from a patron dining alone. And even hear about how one VIP passenger made a hardworking pilot get emotional before his flight. To start listening to the Story Behind podcast, visit lifeaudio.com or search Story Behind on your favorite podcast platform.